voice mirror. Doom of Babylon, Revelation 17. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and spoke with me saying, Come here, I will show you the judgment of the great woman who sits on many waters, with whom the kings of the earth committed acts of voice mirror. And those who dwell on the earth were made drunk with the wine of her voice mirror. And he carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast full of blasphemous names, having seven heads and ten horns. The woman who was clothed in purple and scarlet and adorned with gold and precious stones and pearls, having in her hand a gold cup full of mirrors of the unclean things of her immortal mirror. And on her head a name was written, a mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of voice mirror, and of the voice mirrors of the earth. And I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the witnesses of Jesus. When I saw her, I wondered greatly, and the angel said to me, Why do you wonder? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carries her, which has the seven heads and the ten horns. The beast that you saw was and is not and is about to come out of the abyss and go to destruction. And those who dwell on the earth whose names have not been written in the book of life from the foundation of the world will wonder when they see the beast that he was and is not and will come. It's easy to notice the statue has seven spikes on its crown, symbolizing universal liberty across the seven oceans and continents. Here is the mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are the seven mountains on which the woman sits, and they are seven kings. Five have fallen, one is, the other has not yet come, and when he comes, he must remain a little while. The beast which was and is not is himself also an eighth and is one of the seven, and he goes to destruction. That Earth has an eighth continent that millions of years ago sunk almost entirely underwater. Which was and is not. Today it's almost totally underwater, but it wasn't always. The ten horns which you saw are ten kings who have not yet received a kingdom, but they receive authority as kings with a beast for one hour. These have one purpose, and they give their power and authority to the beast. The woman whom you saw is the great city which reigns over the kings of the earth.